Hey, this is Aaron from Superior Singing Method, and this is Vocal Lessons Vibrato. Okay, Vocal Lessons Vibrato. What is vibrato? Vibrato is essentially an oscillation going back and forth between two pitches. Now, here's a couple things you want to avoid with uh, vibrato in the first place. So the first one is like a, it's a wobble. It's it's too slow. It's like like uh, like that's that. Some people get into that kind of wobble thing, and then when it shakes too fast, it's kind of like get a little bit of like Peter Griffin. And they're like, uh, 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 you get the idea. You don't want either one of those. Neither one of those are vibrato. They're funny, but they're not vibrato. Now, uh, if you don't want to do vibrato, that's fine. Like a lot of times, normally you don't want to do it all the time. Um, th like the, it's called a straight tone. And I sang with a straight tone a lot for a most part of my life and most of my records and most of my songs, because that was the rock sound that I was going for. So a lot of times in rock and country and folk, you won't necessarily have vibrato, but you will hear it a little bit at the end sometimes. Now, certainly in opera and classical, uh, you will hear it all the time, but I'm actually hearing it more and more and more in pop on pop pop radio so if this is something you want to do obviously you're watching the video so it is something you want to do now vibrato is a natural result of a healthy voice but it is controlled by the singer it's controlled by you so if you want to start with a wobble uh, sometime that could actually help train your voice start with something uh, like i started for instance doing by just mimicking opera singers like Oh, like doing that and starting with that, that's a little bit of a wobble and it's not quite right. But I started getting it by just training the voice a little bit by doing what wasn't vibrato, but eventually um, eventually it became vibrato uh, by, by training the muscles to do it. Like, or like, like a ghost, like a kid would be like, ooh, like that kind of thing. Again, not vibrato, but that kind of movement can actually help your voice begin to get the feeling of what it's like to do, to do vibrato. Mimicry can lead to a free and clean vibrato sound. Now, what but vibrato also is not, it's not like a bouncing larynx, like larynx, like uh, not vibrato. And it's also not a bouncing stomach, like uh, you know, all that stuff is not vibrato, and you want to avoid that. Sounds weird, looks weird, it's not gonna not gonna go well for you. Uh, but what vibrato is, actually, I'll just, on this, uh, here's an exercise I'm going to give you uh, that helps kind of release the vibrato from you, or, else do, or at least it does for me. Um, ooh, ee, ee, and another one is ee, ee, ah. Notice I'm doing just a little bit of that vibrato on the end. It's, not, it's nothing crazy. It's just allowing the voice to kind of do its thing at the end. So again, try it with me. Ooh, ee, 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 ah. So work on that some and eventually, um, eventually you'll get it. Maybe, maybe it just came to you right then. It, it's the kind of thing that you work on it, you work on it, and then eventually it's just like, boom, it's just there. It's not, it's not like, oh, I'm gonna work up to it over time. It's like you're trying it and then one minute you don't have it, the next minute you have it. That's how it worked for me and, and a lot of my students. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, but remember, believe in your bigness. There's more in you than you realize. Stick to it. And if you want uh, my favorite vocal exercise, click here. And there's also, a, it's more, a more, video, more exercise, a video that goes a little deeper into the voice stuff that you may, really may want to learn more. So just click there or click the link below. Thanks a lot and have a great day.